Okay, I'm ready to go, I hope you are too. Now, the very first thing we need to work on is we need to learn how to roll the jack because I presume, right, and I should never assume anything in life, I assume you know the basics of there's the pegs, I need to keep the bowl inside the boundary pegs, I need to keep the bowls out of the ditch. I'm sure you know the rules of the game. I'm not gonna teach you the rules of the game. Grab a rule book, um, learn them, but I'm gonna teach you the basics uh, from scratch, how to hold the bowl, how to roll the jack, how to stand, where to look, etc, etc, etc. You get what I'm talking about, don't you? Right. Now, I'm going to start with the jack, okay? The jack is very, very important because you can use the jack to set your rhythm. And if you set your rhythm speed in terms of you roll the jack with a certain rhythm speed, the same as golf, they call it swing speed. If you can roll a jack at, say, 70% swing speed, and you can do the same with the bowl, you'll automatically draw touches. Now, I can't emphasize how important that is. Rolling the jack is one of the most important skills in this game. Winning singles titles is about rolling the jack and nailing the jack first bowl. So that's what I'm gonna teach you. Let's start. I'll grab the jack and let's get into it. Come over here, Flippy. When you roll the jack, you need to roll the jack in your fingertips, okay? Center finger, longest finger, thumb. See that there? Okay, hold the jack in your fingertips. You wanna have your wrist slightly cocked. You wanna have a nice, fluent swing and what you need to do is you need to note mentally exactly how high you're holding the jack because you need to set the bowl up exactly the same way if I lift or if I drop I'm actually having to make unconscious changes to get back to where I was to make the change required to be on the jack with my first bowl so tip number one never ever lift or drop to try and put on weight or drop weight that's what amateurs do. Like, I'm, I'm, I can't emphasize this enough. If you want to be no good, do that, okay? If you want to be good, set everything the same, right? Let your unconscious mind do the work. Program yourself through visualization and seeing your shot and just let it happen naturally. Whenever you think about stuff in this game, you just become completely retarded and you start to climb everywhere. So, let's have a look at the jack. I'll show you an example. Okay, okay so. I'm seeing it, what, all I'm thinking of is, okay, where do I want to put the jack? Let's say three quarters, okay? Set, set the height, same, head over the top of the jack, everything's the same. Okay, now all I'm focusing on there, all I'm focusing on there is rhythm speed. I'm looking at a spot five meters out in front of me and all I'm focusing on is rhythm speed. Loose, very loose through the shoulder. If you're playing on quick greens, you're going to be very loose. All your tendons and ligaments have to be free flowing and loose. If you're tight on a quick green, your weight's going to be all over the shoulder. Right. So, see that weight there? Yeah. Bowl. All I have to do with this bowl, presuming that I know my line, is play with that same rhythm speed because that's the weight. In this game, weight is worth 9 out of 10. If you can imagine right, that if you're pl consistently playing with good weight and you're missing your line by a foot or so, you're always gonna be within about a foot of the jack. But if you're playing with inconsistent, rubbish, crappy weight, you're gonna be completely all over the shop. So you need to really spend your time learning how to control your weight, becoming consistent with weight, because Donnie Sherman, when he taught me as a kid, always said, weight's worth nine out of 10. You know, line can look after itself a little bit if you're missing it by a few inches here or there. Yeah, so all I have to do is focus on delivering the ball with exactly the same rhythm speed. Okay, so I'm setting up exactly the same as I was with the jack. I'm getting on the mat and I'm automatically executing. So let me just do that. Thing. Okay, so let's go down and have a look. Okay, so I'm within a couple of feet. Well, I'm within a couple of feet. The green's running a good 17 seconds with the tailwind. You can barely feel a couple of uh, couple of feet on this pace. But I just showed you in uh, in a couple of seconds how that you can match your rhythm speed, point your bowl out towards the line after you've rolled the jack. The jack's not even on the line; it's two feet narrow, right? And I've just thrown it out, focusing on that rhythm speed, 
I'm automatically getting my uh, my first bowl within two feet of the jack. So lesson one, you need to learn how to roll the jack, grab your first bowl, focus on that same natural loose rhythm speed, bang, nail the jack, perfect start to a game of singles or whatever you're playing in. First bowl wins the game a lot of the time. Just imagine yourself like, or your opponent sticking their first bowl within the foot of the jack every end, um, you're going to be under huge pressure. So focus on that, that'll be the Let's move on to the next segment.